All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. And the idea, again, is if you have an equation of form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is not 0, it says we can find the solutions to this by using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So the idea is, again, a is the coefficient in front of the x squared. b is going to be the coefficient in front of the x. Again, you have to take into account whether they're positive or negative. And then c is simply going to be the constant. So suppose we want to solve uh, the, quadrat or the quadratic equation 9x squared minus 9x plus 2. So maybe let's jot down the quadratic formula again off to the side negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This will give us our solution. So in this case, our a is simply going to be the number in front of the x squared. So we have that a is going to be equal to positive 9. b is going to be the coefficient on the x. Well, don't you know? sometimes people will forget to use the sign, so be careful. It says b is actually going to be negative 9. And then c is the constant, which in this case is simply going to be positive 2. So really all we have to do is just replace uh, all the values in the formula, being careful with our signs, do a little bit of arithmetic, and we'll have our solutions. So it says x is going to equal, it says we take negative, it says we take the negative of the b value, so we have to take negative of negative 9 plus or minus the square root, and then it says we take b, again, which is negative 9, and we square that, and then we subtract 4 times a, which we said is positive 9, times c, which we said is positive 2, and then we divide all of that by 2 times a, and again, a is just positive 9. Okay, so kind of getting everything in the, the right spot is, is half the battle. And then it's just doing some arithmetic. So we have negative of negative 9, which is positive 9, plus or minus the square root. OK, so negative 9 times negative 9 is going to give us positive 81. If we take negative 4 times 9, that'll be negative 36. And then negative 36 times positive 2 will be negative 72. In the denominator, we have 2 times 9, which is going to be 18. So let's just keep simplifying underneath the radical. So we have 81 minus 72, which is going to be, uh, again, 9. Lots of 9's in this problem, over 18. And now we can write this as 9 plus or minus, well, OK, the square root of 9, we know that that's just going to give us 3 over 18. And now what we do is we kind of break this down into two different statements. And this is going to give us our solutions. Um, maybe I can just squeeze it all in here. It says one of the solutions is we take 9 plus 3 over 18. OK, so 9 plus 3 over 18. And it says the other solution is going to be 9 minus 3 over 18. Well, 9 plus 3 is 12 over 18. And we can actually reduce 12 over 18. So 6 will divide into both of those. So we can reduce 12 over 18 to positive 2 thirds. And likewise, 9 minus 3 is going to give us 6 over 18. And that's simply going to reduce to positive 1 third. So it says the solutions to our original quadratic equation, 9x squared minus 9x plus 2, our solutions will be x equals positive 2 thirds and also x equals positive 1 third.